What's up you guys, my name is Hutch, I make videos, put them on the internet, and every once in a while I do a cooking video. Because I got into cooking in um, 2015, about the end of 2015, and I had like no cooking experience. I signed up for Blue Apron and uh, basically learned how to cook from them. So this isn't an advertisement for them, you're not going to see a link uh, for them in the description, but I just figured I should let you guys know where I got the recipe for these. Tacos! So yeah, I'm just gonna jump right into it. Let's uh, let's walk you through this. So as far as what you guys are gonna need for this recipe, you're gonna need 10 ounces of thinly sliced beef. You're gonna need four corn tortillas. Some of these are tongue twisters, let me tell you. Three radishes, two scallions, one lime, one sweet potato, two ounces of Monterey Jack cheese, uh, two tablespoons of creme fraiche, one tablespoon Mexican spice blend, one serrano pepper, and one uh, tablespoon of sugar. But once you have all your ingredients on the counter ready to go, the first thing you're gonna do is preheat the oven to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. You're gonna wash and dry the fresh produce, and you're gonna stack the tortillas on a plate and cover them with a damp paper towel. Then you're gonna grate your cheese. Uh, then you're gonna cut off, get rid of the ends of the radishes, and then small dice them. After that, you're gonna cut off and discard the root ends of the scallion, so get rid of that root part at the end. Separate the white bottom from the green part at the top, and then uh, thinly slice both of those. Keep them in separate containers. After that, you're gonna quarter the lime. That's easy. With limes, you don't need to worry about deseeding them. Lemons is kind of a pain in the ass because you gotta get in there, get in there and pick out all the seeds. But uh, limes, super, super easy. Just quarter it. Then you're gonna get rid of the the stem, the ribs, and the seeds of the pepper, and you're gonna small dice it. But just be careful because when you're working with peppers like this. It will kind of get into your skin, so don't rub your eyes, and as soon as you're done cutting them, you need to wash your hands, like, pretty well right away. Uh, I mixed up the order just a little bit. The first step was actually to cut the sweet potato into one-inch wide wedges, and then cut each wedge in half crosswise. So now you're going to want to grab a bowl, and then combine the pepper, the sugar, and the juice of two lime wedges, and then uh, stir it up until you see that the sugar is dissolved. You're going to want to let that sit for at least 10 minutes before you use it as a dressing. Next up, you're going to do our sweet potatoes. You're going to take a sheet pan, you're going to line it with tin foil, or if you have one of those disposable ones, that works too. Uh, you're going to season it with salt and pepper, you're going to drizzle some olive oil over everything, and then you're going to toss it around, make sure it's coated, uh, everything's coated nice and even. You're going to leave that in the oven that you've been preheating to 450 for 18 to 20 minutes, so that part's pretty fucking easy. So I actually forgot to film the next part, what you're going to want to do is combine the radishes the white bottoms of the scallions and the juice of the remaining lime wedges and drizzle with olive oil, season with salt and pepper. That's um, just a little homemade salsa. One thing I also did off camera was warm up the tortillas. So once the um, sweet potatoes have been roasting for about 10 minutes, you stack the tortillas on a large piece of tin foil, tightly wrap the foil around the tortillas, carefully place directly onto the oven rack and warm for about six to eight minutes. So, so about the last six to eight minutes of the time that you're cooking your sweet potatoes, you're gonna throw in um, you're gonna throw in some tortillas to heat them up first. What you guys are watching me do now is take care of the beef. That, this part's really easy. Before you even do anything, you wanna dry it down with a paper towel. Then you're gonna season the beef with the spice blend that we talked about earlier. Make sure everything's kinda evenly coated. Throw it in the pan, cook the first side for three to four minutes without even touching it, and then constantly stir for the next uh, uh, 30 seconds to a minute. I went a little bit overboard. I cooked it a little bit longer than I probably should have, uh, but I like to err on the side of caution. That's just me though. If you thought we were done with the sweet potatoes, you're wrong, my friend. You're gonna take it out of the oven, or you're gonna take them out of the oven, then you're gonna evenly distribute some Monterey Jack cheese. I can't have lactose, so I put it on half of them. And Esme doesn't like spicy food, so I didn't use that spicy blend from earlier. And at this point, you're basically done. All you gotta do is prepare the taco. Uh, you um, spread an even layer of creme fraiche on the bottom of the tortilla, uh, then you're gonna put the spice, uh, the cooked spiced beef on top, you're gonna top it off with the radishes and the scallions. You're gonna top it off with the green scallions. And uh, that's it. Dinner served. Oh, oh.